Okay. Hi, I want to discuss about pulley system. Okay, look at the system here. So we have a, a pulley here. This is a smooth pulley. So no friction. So for pulley system, you must be able to okay, draw free body diagram in order to solve it. So now we look at the whole system. The whole system for 3 kg, there is weight 3 times G. So I just put 3 G. Same thing for this 4 kg, 4 G. So you look at carefully, 4G is heavier than 3G. Logically, the 4kg will pull the 3kg. So direction of the 4kg will be downward. Direction of the 3kg upwards because 4kg is pulling the 3kg. Okay? If you look at the whole system, direction of motion we must take direction downward as positive direction upward is negative because the system is moving down resultant force is downward thus the resultant force for this system equals to 4g positive the 3G is negative because opposite to the direction eh, of motion. So, minus 3G. Thus, we get G. G is equal to 9.81 Newton. So, this is the resultant force that acts to the whole system. Find the moving mass M. So, when the pulley is moving, means the the, the both the two objects or the two loads uh, are moving together so the moving mass m equals to the total mass of the system 4 plus 3 so it becomes 7 kilogram now we want to find acceleration we have the net force 9.81 newton mass 7 kilogram Using the formula F equals to MA, thus we get 9.81 equals to 7A. Thus, A equals to 9.81 divided by 7. We get 1.4 meter second to the power negative 2. So, this is the acceleration for the whole system. So, in order to determine uh, resultant force and acceleration, you can consider the whole system. Now, the last part, fine string tension. When we come to this part, we need to draw free body diagram. Okay, if you look at for the 3, uh, the 3G or 3KG load here, the string is tension. The string, the string has its own tension. Eh? So we mark two way. Okay, it's like your both your hand is pulling eh? to 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 produce a, a string eh? which is tense. Okay, same thing here. So we have this one also. Same magnitude, opposite direction. Okay. Meaning the pulley is pulling at the same time with the load. Then only the string will become tense. Now we look at free body diagram. When we talk about free body diagram for 3 kg, meaning we just look at the forces that act on 3 kg load. When we talk about free body diagram for this one, we just look at the forces that act on the load and this one is the forces that act on the pulley for the pulley the resultant force equals to 0 newton so we don't take this one into account 
it does not give any effect ok so you just use 1 and 2 ok to find the value of t because of you have the value of a here 1.4 meter second to the power negative 2 you can choose to use either 1 or 2 let's say I use 2 when we use 2 you can see direction of the load 4 kg is moving down thus we take direction downward as positive so we get 4g minus t equals to 4a by using the formula f equals to ma resultant force that act on the 4 kg load is 4g minus t thus we get t equals to 4g minus 4a or 4 times 9.81 minus 4 times 1.4 1.4 we get from here thus we get the answer for for the answer eh, for T is 9 33.64 Newton ok ok let's look at the second one This is also a pulley system. You can see this one is 4 kg and this one is 3 kg. But now you can see the 4 kg is at horizontal surface, so its weight eh, does not affect its motion. So in this case, the 3 kg load will pull the 4 kg load. We can mark direction, so meaning this one A, C. Okay. Okay, now the load, the weight of load here is 3G. Tension T. Now I don't mark for the pulley, I just mark forces on the load only. So we call it free body diagram. Okay. So first we want to determine resultant force for the whole system. This one there's a frictional force. So the resultant force F equals to 3G minus friction 2. Okay? 3 times 9.81 minus 2. So, F equals to 3G minus 2. So, 3 times 9.81 minus 2. Thus, we get 27.43. Okay, that one is the resultant force. This one is moving down. Okay, so this one is direction opposite to this one. This one we need to minus uh, the friction. Okay, next is the total mass, uh, total moving mass. Consider the whole system. So it's 3 plus 4, 7 kilogram. 
now we want to determine acceleration so f equals to m a f equals to 27.437 a thus we get a equals to 27.43 divided by 7 so we get Three point nine two. Okay, and then last one to determine the tension on the string. So we can draw a free body diagram. So you can use this one, or this one. Okay, let's say I choose this one. Okay. So it's moving downward. Thus, the resultant force is three g minus d equals to three a. Thus, d equals to three g minus three a. Three times nine point eight one minus three times three point nine two. Thus, we get. Seventeen point six seven Newton. Okay, that one is for pulley system. This table. Now we look at the next question. A 2 kg trolley is connected by a rope to 3 kg load. The rope passes over a smooth trolley. The load is then released. A. If the surface of the table is smooth, what is acceleration of the trolley? What is tension in the rope? The one for part A. Eh? Same thing as what we discussed above. Okay. Okay, first we can mark there's a force here is 3G there's a tension here same value of tension okay for the tro for the trolley here weight does not give effect eh, because motion is horizontal and this one is moving down okay now we want to determine the but A, A1, what is acceleration? So in this case, the moving mass M equals to 2 plus 3 equals to 5 kg. The resultant force, now we use F equals to M A. Yeah? The resultant force is 3G because no other force. Okay, 3G equals to 5A. Thus we get A equals to 3 times 9.81 divided by 5. Five point eight nine meter second negative two. Okay, if we look at part two, what is tension on the rope? So we can consider one of the free body diagram. Let's say we choose this one. Okay, using the formula F equals to m a, the net force on the trolley is T. The mass is 2 and the acceleration is 5.89. T 
so we get 11.77 newton okay that one is tension in the road the rope huh? okay for part b if frictional force between trolley and surface of table is 10 newton what is acceleration of the trolley now there's a frictional force there's net force no longer seen so the new resultant force is 3g minus 10 equals to 5a thus a equals to 3 times 9.81 minus 10 divided by 5 so we get 3.89 meter second to the power negative 2 okay is the tension in the rope the same as the value in A2? So we can calculate the new tension. So the new tension is equals to T minus, let's say we use the trolley system also. So T minus 10 equals to 2 times 3.89. Thus we get T equals to 17.77 newton so you can see the answer the value of tension